Good well, adventurers, welcome to the club. <laughs> Today I want to show you how to make your own portable power station. <laughs> and all you need is a car battery and an inverter. Total cost about 100 to 150 bucks. The inverter is about 40 bucks on Amazon. And of course some wood. <laughs> yeah, and one of these. <laughs> That's one of those things old ladies use to get the grocery home. But you can use a bit more heavy duty one that would actually be better, but yeah, that's what I had. So, the rest of this video will all be voiceover because I had a radio running in the background when I was working and <laughs> yeah, copyright. So, I'm cutting all the boards to the size I need and then I will attach them like this just a bit reinforcement here and if you screw into wood like this you gotta drill some pilot holes a bit smaller than the screw and if you don't do this the screw will split your wood and that's very bad we wanna avoid this because this is something that weakens the joint and it will break <laughs> yeah So, let's screw this together and I'm using a wrenching screwdriver here. You could use a battery powered one but, well, I like the hands-on experience. So, and now I'm doing a bit of a test fit here. This is how they will sit on here. Yeah, I'm happy with this. So now let's attach another piece of wood. <laughs> of course drilled some pilot holes. And now I'm putting the screws in so they stick a bit out so I can line them up again with the pilot holes. Now let's screw them together again. <laughs> So, uh, this is how it will sit in here. And now I'm taking the next piece of wood. This is just some fiber board from an IKEA furniture someone threw out. So I grabbed it and recycled it. <laughs> Never spend money when you can get something for free. I mean, it would be of course stronger if you use a standard kind of wood or something like this but well it's fine And this is how it looks now. <laughs> yeah, looks quite neat. And here I have a 1970s kitchen lamp. <laughs> yeah, right from a grandma's kitchen into my portable power station. Because <laughs> we want to have some work lights that we don't have to attach. So I'm using them here. I'm drilling a pilot hole again for the screw so we don't have the board splitting and now two larger holes here and the bottom piece I'm drilling two holes for each side and we will see <laughs> what they are used for because that's actually a neat old trick. Here I'm taking 
two zip ties and I'm zip tying the whole thing onto the metal rods below it. <laughs> and those are reopenable zip ties. Now I'm filling a hole for the wire, the electrical wire. And this is the outlet. <laughs> You gotta detach the cables and then we gotta solder some extra cables on. The reason uh, for detaching the original cables is I'm shortening them so they fit in place a bit better. I'm making a test fit here if they are long enough. And then we are going to the soldering. The soldering in this case is done with a torch because a normal soldering iron is just not strong enough for this. And I'm doing this outside because I'm old fashioned and I'm using lead solder. <laughs> So now it's time to reassemble the whole thing. I did drill some holes and attach the outlet and here it is. Finished. <laughs> yeah. Here on the back side I attach the inverter. I'm putting the cable here in between those two things. And yeah. It's done. <laughs> Yeah, so it's finished and the great thing is this is only 40 bucks <laughs> if you already have a car battery otherwise it's 140 or something but yeah this is great especially if you live in an area where power isn't uh, always there <laughs> and another thing I have built this whole project with this inverter so now a little demonstration <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finished. I did build the whole thing using this inverter and the car battery. <laughs> yeah. And this, in my case, is a 220 volt one, so you can run a lot of big power tools 